Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. This is John Ezidan. We're playing City Skylines Unmodded Series. This is the River Run map. And we're playing with Ezidi City. I forgot how to do my intro. <laughs> I was doing the intros for the other videos in this intro. I usually say the same thing. Sorry about that. You might have noticed we added a new thing in the previous episode with uh, where we have some audio that subscription alert or that little prompt if you pause the video it says subscribe on it is it actually my subscription alert from my twitch and justin tv days so it's part of my old channel i i thought i'd bring it back because uh, a lot of the people that have joined recently this channel were people who were looking for my old content which uh is pretty heartwarming not not gonna lie but uh thank you for uh, thinking of me i'm safe and uh yeah I probably was one of the more different and variety variety uh, kind of uh streamers back in the justin tv days so anyway what we're going to do is fix up the traffic that we messed up and uh, yeah, we kind of regretted we're gonna fix up the traffic and the plan here in the top half of the map is to keep these interchanges simple so that it delineates from the other tiles so that it, whenever we finish up to nine tiles i believe in the base game you're allowed nine tiles we uh, can uh, differentiate which one was our very first tile and whatnot from looking at uh, basic interchanges. So this is one of the uh, interchanges that I uh, explored in the beginning of the game. We call it the hot dog about. So without further ado, let's solve this traffic problem. Right, I forgot to introduce myself. This is something new I tried doing in the previous couple episodes where I introduced myself after the first uh, introduction. <laughs> so I am John Nezadan. I stream, <laughs> not stream. I uh, do these uh, City Skylines videos. This uh, particular series is focused on green energy. We are in Ezidi City, so for several episodes it was uh, only wind power and we had about 17 or 18 uh, wind power plants before we reached a milestone and was able to purchase the solar power, uh, solar updraft towers, which I think I would prefer over the other, uh, other kinds of uh, power sources. We're gonna keep that uh, green energy. Let's we'll see where it goes. This is obviously an industrial sector. Uh, the plan for this, these things, since every industrial thing is in the top tile of the map, we're gonna spread it out a little bit. We have three tiles unlocked, and I believe I have four different industries: the farm, the uh, forestry, the oil. There's another one. Might be another one. Not so sure. <laughs> you might. I might need to uh, review the uh, extremely long video that we have, the three-hour and forty-minute video, which was. Uh, I, I got a lot of positive feedback from it, and uh, the numbers show that you guys like watching it. I have about uh, five hundred hours worth of your guys watching a watch time of for that video alone which is pretty amazing so yeah it's uh we're doing good right here just uh fixing this interchange and then uh, we'll move on to the next one so the problem if you've probably seen it in the first uh, episode or the uh the first time we started tackling this problem was there was an interchange that was backed up and uh that's what we tried to fix it was near this, this is, I think this was the particular one. It was uh, next to the industry area. 
So I wanted to make a dedicated way for the industry, uh, industrial sectors to reach the highway and back. So I think we accomplished that goal here. If you want to make your highways aesthetically pleasing, you have to look at the nodes. So the nodes are those little circle things that you see when you have the road tool up. So what I do is I make a brace, an extension to match and level with the uh, terrain. And then I reconnect the highway. That ensures the node, there's a node at that spot. And that's the spot where I will do an on-ramp and off-ramp. So it'll, uh, it'll look good like that. There we go. Smooth transition right there. It's not perfectly measured and it's not perfectly symmetrical. But what it is, what it looks like, it's uh, a bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing, which is one of our main goals. There's a bunch of red up there. So, <laughs> hmm. Might need to fix this, uh, the direction of, of these roads here. Might have to redesign this, redistribute the three factories that we have, the uh, three industries that we have, oil, farmland, and forestry, to different areas, because we do have three tiles, and I believe we can utilize them. So the bottom tile has the oil industry. This top part of the map doesn't have oil resources, so it's getting all its stuff from the imports, which is a problem because that causes traffic, which was the main reason why we uh, had to fix this in the first place. So because it uh, brought in a lot of uh, incoming and outgoing imports and exports of oil. So hopefully we fix that in this episode. So this is the interchange that's now, because of a domino effect, is affected because there is only one path to go to for the longest time while I was rebuilding the interchanges on the top. Now we, uh, we're going to optimize this by... It was a half uh, barbell design. Now we're going to make it full uh, a full barbell. So I'm putting the grid marks and the braces to make perfect circles on either side and then connecting it. It's a simple kind of interchange that worked in the beginning. So it's we're still on the top part of the tile, so it's only suiting to have something simple. Just to show that we started here this way and now I think this works out because uh, it's a larger volume or it can handle a larger volume. So I believe we did good here.
I was trying to measure this road to make it a bit uh, geometric and exact with the curves, but I ended up eyeballing it, making it still look aesthetically pleasing, but it's not perfect, but organic does look kind of good too. So it's up to you what kind of gameplay you, you have. A lot of people play uh, an organic style. There's some that are strictly uh, geometric. They want to keep making everything uh, geometric and sound because when you think about geometry, simple shapes and uh, or even complex ones often have uh, stability and you know that means safety as well. So hopefully my stuff is safe. Some parts are questionable. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this a safe city, but uh, it it's a uh, it's a learning curve. Just trying to make things look nice and balance that with safety. So I think we did. I think we're doing a good job here. So I'm going to leave these as uh, off ramps and on ramps uh, on either side. I'm not going to return the other side because that would cause traffic. I think it's better this way. This helps alleviate the top part of the map because there's industry on the top part of the map and they need a way to, to get to the highway and so we'll have that kind of thing. Actually, there is no way to get to the highway from if I do it like this, but it, it does make it free flowing. It keeps, it allows you, them uh, to offload from the highway. So it allows people to enter but not exit. So they would have to use one of the interchanges once they get into the city, which is okay. I think that's how they do it in real life. It's a lot easier to enter the city than leave it, I guess, which is a, it's a good strategy, I guess. Anyway, oh, there's lightning. Just out of curiosity, I was doing a, seeing how it behaves if it's uh, on ramp and off ramps on either side, and we were right about the traffic. So I think we'll just keep it uh, on ramps and off ramps on one side. It should be enough to alleviate traffic on the top part, I believe. Okay, we're creeping back up to 90%, which is a good goal for this past couple of weeks. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, these are these are the water towers that we placed here to replace the water pumps. I think they look nice in the middle with the interchange, the service interchange that came with the base game. It's pretty good. Anyway, that's all the time that we have. Uh, if you like what you've seen, City Skylines, or you like do it yourself. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I am John Nezidan. Uh, you can like, follow, comment, or subscribe. Ding that bell. And I'll see you in three days. Take care, guys. Be safe. Remember, you are essential.